Hi, this is Taki Kabir, and this is my partner, Ken LaFleur, and we're with Close Quarters Combat, and today we're going to go over some of our close game. Um, you've heard about Close Quarters Combat, and I want to show you a little bit of the stuff that we teach at our, um, our school. So let's get into it. Um, we're going to show first the uh, different entries into Close Quarters. So we're going to show what we call our pock and shield, which is this here, okay? And then we're going to show our double outside, which is here. We're gonna show our double inside, okay? And then we're gonna show our forward time change entry. If he throws a looping punch, coming this way. And then we're gonna show our reverse time change, coming this way, okay? So we're gonna start off with just our pock and shield. And we're gonna go to our first position into the close quarters, which we call box control one. So as he throws a straight punch, I'm stepping offline and I'm coming up. If I have a knife or anything, I can stab here. But if I don't have an empty hand, I can hit here, mouse his um, bicep to destroy it. And I'm shielding this way in case this hand comes. If he throws over the top, I can block. Okay? So it comes in. I come here. Now I'm going to go for my first destruction, his elbow. I'm going to track down, grab the wrist, step in, my whole body to break this. I'm just placing my arm here and turning with my whole body to break his elbow. Now I'm going to lay across and go into what we call box control one. Again, here for the first break, we lay out and we clear. We snake this hand around to cross a lock here. We're gonna frame out so he can't turn toward us. If I don't frame out, he can turn toward me. And I don't want that. I wanna keep this control. So I'm pushing him out. And this is our first control point. We have a lock here that we can step in and create this downward pressure on the elbow to bring him down. We can throw knees from here. For this one, we're going to stand standing, okay? For here, we're going to throw a knee to break his posture. Now we're going to use our hand to scoop his head to the other side as we step off and we lock our forearms here so we can hold him here. Now we can deliver uppercuts, hooks, punches. We can rake the head backwards all from this position. So to get in there, we're starting here, lay out, clear, box control one. We throw a knee, we pass the other side, we lock here, hit, elbow, push the head backwards, strike. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time from the other side. Coming this way break, we lay out, we throw a knee, we pass to the other side, uppercut, hook, push the head back, elbow, elbow, and we can drive. Okay? To finish this, we want to take them to the ground. We have a principle that we call EAT. It's evade, attack, take balance, take down. Okay? So we have our evade and our attack we're not taking balance, okay? We have all this right here. We're softening them up. Now we're gonna go for the takedown. We're pushing the head offline and exposing this foot. We're gonna step across, locking this foot. Now we're gonna flex our knee and push this into him. As his head is over his center of balance, he's gonna go over. Now we can follow up with whatever we want as he's on the ground. Okay, so one more time all the way through. First break, box control one, knee. We go to the other side with around the world, soften him up. Okay, we can push the head back, hit, hit. We grab, we shove, and we step. We put this foot in, and then we push down. He goes over. Okay, that's our first sequence from our pocket shield.